repeating welcome you all welcome to this session in this session we are going to discuss about the conduction of oc and ac test on single phase transformer so here we are going to discuss the lab experimental condition so let's go to the topic so in this topic we are going to discuss initially what is oc OC test is nothing but open circuit test. Okay, so this is also called as open circuit test. Another name for this open circuit test is no load test. So this test will be conducted when the load is zero. When the load is zero, this test will be conducted. Already we discussed the same thing in the theoretical parts also. So in OC test, we are going to find out the corresponding shunt branch parameter of the equivalent branch parameter of equivalent circuit and also in this open circuit we are going to find out the core losses we are going to find out the core losses of the system so what we are going to do is we are going to make the rated voltage we are going to fix the rated voltage of the system machine so here transformer so we are going to fix the rated voltage of transformer so from that rated voltage we are going to find out the corresponding core loss of the system okay so this is what we are going to do the uh, do it in the open circuit test why we go for this oc and ac test in order to predetermine the efficiency of the uh, performance of the transformer we go for this oc and ac test this is an indirect testing methodology okay where we are not going to use any load instead of using load uh, we are going to uh, find out the losses from the losses we are going to find out the efficiency we are assuming some load for the system okay so let's go to the experimental setup. This is the circuit diagram for the open circuit test on single phase transformer. So here, this is the transformer. So normally, open circuit test will be conducted in when high voltage side is open circuited. High voltage side is open circuited, and supply will be given to the low voltage side. Supply will be given to the low voltage. So under this consideration, we have connected 0 to 50 percent. For example, we have a 1 kVA transformer. Okay, in our lab, we have 1 kVA transformer, that is 230 bar 115 volt transformer. Okay, 230 bar 115 volt transformer. So, I am going to connect 0 to 115 volt in the supply side and 0 to 230 volt in the second side. So, if you go through on the Lotus and transformer experiment, you may have some idea what is 0% or 50%. So, in supply side, uh, we are going to use the uh, measure the current, no load current I0, okay, the no load voltage V0 and the no load power w naught or wc the core losses okay so these are the things we are going to measure so that we are going to use a cam meter volt meter and a watt meter during no load condition the secondary side is open circuit okay so the secondary side is open circuit here since it is open circuit the current flowing through the uh, transformer will be very less the minimum current no load current will flow so it will be 0 to 5 percentage of the 0 to 2 2 percent of the rated current. So, if I am having 115 volts, it's an 8 amps, means the rated current will be 8 amps. If it's 8 amps, it means you will have only 0 to 2 amps. So, I am going for 0 to 2 amps for this ammeter. 0 to 2 amps for ammeter. Here, I am using AC meter since it is AC supply, so I am using MI. MI is nothing but moving ion. And the corresponding voltage, I am going to apply the rated voltage. So, I have to set the rated voltage, 115 volt. So, in our lab, we will have a, a volt meter in the range of 0 to 150. Okay, 0 to 150 volt, MI will be there. Okay, then we will have to use a watt meter in order to measure the power. So, we can have a, a watt meter here or we can have a watt meter in this line. So, ammeter, you can have a watt meter after the ammeter has circuit or before the ammeter, it is not a problem. Okay, so here, what type of watt meter we are going to use? Here, since the load is zero, the current is very less, so we go for the lagging power factor watt meter. So we go for lagging power factor watt meter, LPF watt meter. Okay, so this is nothing but this auto transformer. This is nothing but the auto transformer. Okay. So, or we can call it a single phase static device, single phase static device, okay. So, by using this auto transformer, we are going to set the rated voltage as rated current to this 
experiment. Okay, so by using this transformer, we are going to set the rated voltage, and the rated voltage will be measured in the V naught. Okay, corresponding voltmeter V naught, corresponding voltmeter V naught, and then the uh, for corresponding voltmeter V naught. A rated voltage set, after setting the rated voltage, we are go, going to measure the corresponding core loss as well as the no load current of the transformer. Here the fuse rating will be around 120% uh, of the rated current only. So we can go for 10 amps, but that is not needed actually. Because in open circuit, we are not going for more than 2 amps. So 5 amps is enough. Okay, we can go for 5 amps. Okay. So this is what the open circuit test on single phase transformers. The procedure, uh, first we have to close the switch and then set the rated voltage. From the rated voltage, we have to find out the corresponding readings from the volt meter, ammeter and watt meter. So in watt meter, whatever you measured will be the measured reading. Actual reading will be the um, product of multiplication factor. We have to find out the multiplication factor. When you see the watt meter, you could be able to find out the multiplication factor of the system. Okay, that will be the, uh, by considering the multiplication factor the watt meter reading will be uh, get as an actually actual reading so that will be the final reading so this is the tabulation for open circuit test okay we have to find out the multiplication factor here okay and the corresponding volt meter reading and ammeter so single reading is will be that you have to set the voltage for example you have to set the load, rate of voltage 115 volt for the rate of voltage you have to measure the readings and watt meter readings so in watt meter reading you will have uh, Measured reading, okay, and then you will have actual reading. The actual reading will be actual reading is nothing but measured reading into multiplication factor into multiplication factor. That is what the actual reading. So the final output will be the core loss value. The actual reading will be the core loss value. Whatever the value you are getting, you have to write it in the core loss component. Okay, this is what about the OC circuit, open circuit test and single phase transformer. Next is the short circuit test. Short circuit tests are also called as um impedance test impedance test so here what we are going to do is we are going to short circuit one of the transformers so here we are having a transformer like this so we are going to trans uh, short circuit one of the winding of the transformer and we are going to give supply to the another winding okay so from this we are going to understand what will be the copper loss what will be the current what will be the voltage we are going to find out so that we are going to use three component in this short circuit itself also. We are going to use a voltmeter, an ammeter and a watt meter. Okay. So here, uh, during short circuit condition, one thing you have to understand that we are going to give supply, uh, short circuit the low voltage side. Because in low voltage side, the current will be maximum. So that in order to avoid maximum current, we short circuit the low voltage side normally. Okay. Uh, industrial level. Okay. We short circuit the low voltage side. And supply will be given to the high voltage side. High supply will be given to the high voltage side. And here we are going to set the rated current. We are going to set the rated current because during short circuit, okay, during short circuit the current will be maximum, voltage will be minimum, voltage will be 10 to 20 percentage of the rated voltage. Okay, so we are going to set the rated current uh, by auto transformer. From that we are going to measure the voltage and the power. So the power, whatever you are going, we are measured in the short circuit test will be considered as um, copper losses. Okay. So this is the circuit diagram for the short circuit test on single phase transformer. This is the circuit diagram for short circuit test on single phase transformer. You could be able to view that the low voltage side. Okay, here this is low voltage side. This is high voltage side. The low voltage side has been short circuited. High voltage has been given to the power supply. So let's say we are having a 1 kVA transformer. 1 kVA transformer. Okay, so uh, voltage will be 220 volt. Okay, 230 volt. Okay, 230 volt. If it is a 230 bar 115 volt transformer, means the high voltage side voltage will be 230 volts. Then the corresponding current, data current will be IR is equal to P by V. So 1000 divided by 230, the corresponding value you will get is 4.3 amps. So you have to set the rate of current of 4.3 amps. So you have to take a ammeter in the range of 0 to 5 amps MI. 0 to 5 amps MI. So since the rate of current is 4.3 amps, so we are, I am going to uh, consider the ammeter 0 to 5 amps ammeter. Okay. Uh, so that I could able to set the 4.3 amps. 
and the later voltage is 0 to uh, 10 to 20 percentage. So I am going to fix a later uh, uh, voltmeter of 0 to 75. Or you can go 0 to 30 volt is also a possible one. Okay, MI. Okay, so a minimum range of voltmeter can be considered. And the power fact, uh, watt meter, what I am going to use is a UPF watt meter. Since the current is maximum, I am going to use a unity power factor watt meter. Okay, UPF watt meter. Okay, the corresponding voltage range. So the watt meter range can be fixed as 75 bar, 4, 75 volt bar 5 amps uh, UPF watt meter. Okay, so these are the corresponding uh, meter rating uh, according to the application. So here I am going to use a single phase auto transformer. By using the single phase auto transformer, I am going to fix the corresponding rate of current of the machine. Okay, uh, and then the corresponding copper loss. The whatever loss. Uh, power rating you are measured from the watt meter will be the copper losses. So from the watt meter you are going to measure the copper losses of the system. The fuse rating will be 5 amps because 120 percent is 4.3. So the same rating of current um, can be considered. So 5 amps can be fixed. So this is the short circuit uh, conducting methodology. Uh, short circuit test conducting methodology in single phase transformer. Okay. So the, that is a procedure. So this is the tabulation. Here, what I am going to do, what we are going to do is, we are going to set the ammeter rating. So let's say it is a 4.3 amps. So I am going to set the rate of current of the ammeter. From that uh, ammeter rating, I am going to find out the VSC short circuit voltage and the short circuit power or WSC. So here, the same thing. We will have a measured reading and actual reading. So in measured reading, you will calculate and you have to find out the multiplication factor. So actual reading will be the product of measured reading and multiplication factor. Okay, so whatever you are getting as the actual reading will be the full load copper losses you have to mention. From this uh, copper loss value and the core loss value. So okay, from this copper loss WC and WCU, we are going to find out the efficiency and regulation. How? Let's see. So in order to find out the efficiency, we are going to uh, fix the load ratio. Consider the load ratio is 0 0.25. So load ratio is nothing but x. When you see the formula in the manual, the formula efficiency in formula efficiency calculation, output power and input power calculation, we have to consider the load ratio. So that for that load ratio, you have to consider this 0, 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75 and 1. The power factor can be take constant for all the readings. Let's take 0.8 as a power factor. Okay, you can take for 0.8 for all readings. 0.8 for all readings. Okay, you can take 0.8. So you have to calculate the output power for corresponding load ratio and power factor and the corresponding input power and you have to calculate the efficiency also. So this is the one kind of predetermined methodology for calculating the efficiency of a single phase transformer. Similarly, another methodology to predetermine the regulation of single phase transformer is, uh, this is this. Here, we are going to vary the power factor. So we are going to vary the power factor. For, so you have to vary up to 0 to 1. So, for different range of power factor, you have to cal calculate the regulation in terms of leading and in terms of lagging power factor. So, if you see the formula, for leading you have to consider certain formula, for lagging you have to certain, consider certain formula. Okay. So, by using those formula, verifying from the manual, you could be able to calculate the regulation of a single phase transformer. Likewise, we could be able to determine the uh, performance of the machine without loading up the transformer. So this is the model graph of the system. So both the performance curve and the regulation curve. So how to draw this regulation curve, I will teach you. Uh, listen. So this will be the graph. You have to take the graph like this. Okay. Uh, parts, you have to bifurcate these things. So this will be considered as, this point will be considered as 1. Okay. Power factor here. We are going to consider the power factor. Okay. So this will be considered as 1. Here, 0.9. 0 0.8, 0.7, up to 0. So this is for leading power factor reading. So this is for leading. Similarly, here 0 0.9, 0 0.8, 0 0.7, 0 0.6, up to 0. This is for lagging power factor. So whatever you are getting regulation, so it will become like this. Okay, the graph should be similar to this kind of model graph. Okay, so regulation will be taken in the y-axis. Uh, power factor will be taken in the x-axis. So we have to draw carefully uh, while drawing the regulation curve. Okay. This is what about the OC and AC system single phase transform. Thank you very much for watching this video.